Uh, good afternoon. Uh, my name is Jonathan Talsed, as she just said, and I'm with the NDSU Research Foundation in Fargo, North Dakota. And I'm here today because for two reasons. One is to present to you the uh, portfolio of data mining tools that has been developed by North Dakota State University. And the other reason is because Fargo, North Dakota is flooding right now and I didn't want to do any sandbagging. Uh, the world is starting to see ever increasing amounts of data being generated. And these pools of data are becoming so vast that existing data mining tools are no longer adequate for the job. North Dakota State University has developed some technologies that will address this market specifically and have actually developed data mining tools that work specifically well with extremely large data sets. These tools work so well that they can reduce data mining operations that previously took hours to complete down to virtually instantaneously or a number of milliseconds. Um, and our NDSU Research Foundation is seeking to uh, an exclusive license of this technology and to uh, help generate a new generation of data mining tools. As I said earlier, the world is seeing ever increasing amounts of data. And some experts actually believe that the quantity of the world's data is doubling every year. Not only is the size of the data growing exponentially, but the, the nature of the data is changing as well. Much of the data that being generated today is increasingly online, and it's being created in databases that change and uh, grow as we consumers interact with them. For instance, Netflix, the online movie rental company, has a database with uh, 65,000 movie titles in it, and they have 12 million subscribers, and they are constantly tracking the rental preferences and making recommendations for those 12 million subscribers as they go through it. Um, there's also a growing number of markets that depend heavily on the analysis of large data sets. For instance, bioinformatics, which is large tables of genetic and molecular biology information. Um, business analytics, which looks at product and market data and analysis to improve the performance of companies. And uh, markets like remote sensed imagery, medical diagnostics, and homeland security, where they're looking at vast um, databases of image information looking for uh, anomalies. It's estimated that the overall data mining market size is approximately $10 billion. Of course, this number grows depending on how you define data mining. So there's also some related areas that I've included in there that are also very data mining intensive, including business analytics at $22 billion, bioinformatics, which is a 16% annual growth rate at $3 billion, and knowledge management, which is at $12 billion. And these are only some of the areas that look at uh, data mining intensive. Companies like SAS, Teradata, Oracle, IBM, Microsoft, all examples of companies that make billions of dollars each year on, on data mining alone. Uh, if our goal with these new technologies is to make them compatible with these existing database, database products that these market leaders provide, we can tap into and increase those market shares that those companies already enjoy. I wish I had more time to get into the technical details of this because when you get right down to it, it's a really elegant solution and it's really cool for technical people like me. But suffice it to say that we take an entire database of million, tens of millions or hundreds of millions of records and collapse it down into a binary tree structure down here, the single series of tree structures. Um, by doing this, and all, by the way, that tree structure now is so simplified, actually still contains all the information needed to do the data mining that, I, that it was contained in the original database. This allows those operations that used to take hours to complete to be done virtually instantaneously in a number of milliseconds. Our NDSU scientists have created a tool already that works, and they believe it, it works with existing databases. They also believe that it could be transitioned to a commercial product in a relatively short amount of time. They say a, couple, a few weeks. Of course, they're technical people, so I would double that at least and give it a real accurate estimate. Um, I, I know this isn't a very complete uh, introduction to the technology, but I'd be happy to discuss it more with you later, as well as some related technologies that we have. Our goal is to look for an opportunity for someone to license this technology exclusively or non-exclusively. Um, of course, we have additional tax incentives, as a lot of people do if you're willing to make a company in North Dakota. We believe that the immediate opportunity is to focus on one or two key l large and emerging 
market areas, such as bioinformatics, and to work with maybe one uh, existing database product like Oracle's product, for instance, and to, by doing so, create kind of an introduction phase where we capture a, a section of the, a strong foothold in the market. Then we can expand that to additional markets and additional uh, database products until we get to a level that's quite significant in this area as well, and possibly in the hundreds of millions of dollars. Uh, in conclusion, we believe that data mining is an exciting and rapidly growing market that's increasingly online and demands real-time data analysis. We think that the NDSU tools will dramatically increase performance of these tools, enabling online interactions. Uh, it's already patented. We have several patents issued and a few patents pending as well. And we also believe that it can be easily transitioned to a commercial product within a matter of weeks. Thank you very much for your time.